Hello, I'm Firepuck. If you guys are new, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be going over two main things. First, we're going to talk about G2 Design Full and if he is actually retiring from competitive Apex Legends. And also, we're going to talk about competitive Apex Legends. LGS just finished up, Split 2 is all done, and now we're going to be moving on to the ALGS Championships. So I'm just going to explain what that is, how the ALGS went, and what it's going to be like moving into the Championships now. But first, let's talk about our man Designful. So Designful tweeted out after uh, a pretty disappointing loss. They didn't qualify for the finals in the ALGS. I mean, they still qualified for the LGS, like, to go to Sweden, the actual land. So they are top 40 in the world, but they didn't make it to the finals. They went into the loser's bracket right away, and then they couldn't get the top 10 out of the 20 in the loser's bracket. It was pretty disappointing. G2 is definitely a better team than that. Designful, Resulta, Gent, they're all some of the best controller players in the world, so it definitely is pretty disappointing for them to go out like that. However, he did put out this tweet, just saying, well, man, it is what it is. Played my heart out. Don't have any regrets with that being said. I'm stepping down from comp to focus on my stream and creating content. So that is what G2 Designful had to say. He also responded, wanted to go out with a banger, but it wasn't meant to be. He then got some replies from basically everybody in the competitive scene. Honestly, for just an hour straight after this tweet went out, just people were all over it. The first one I wanted to talk about is the owner of G2, the org, uh, replied to him, just some encouraging stuff, saying, I'm not ashamed to result this tournament. Whatever you end up deciding, we can win the next one, and if not, we will win the next one, which I think is pretty well said. Uh, and then a whole bunch of other people, I'm highlighting Reps' posts here, uh, sharing their pictures and selfies and stuff that they took with Designful over at the LAN. Um, other replies, this one also I wanted to highlight from Snipe Down himself. Tough loss, but don't tweet this with heightened emotions. Comeback stories are always the greatest. I think this is a good one to talk about because Designful literally tweeted this like immediately within the hour after being eliminated from LGS. So, I mean... Yeah, the emotions were definitely heightened when this tweet came out. So that, I mean, there is definitely a higher possibility of him uh, actually deciding not to leave competitive with that being said. I think that's a good thing to bring up. Um, Fallout and Rain Day themselves also, I'm not going to read these ones off to take too long, but they also put out their own words of encouragement. Um, People want Designful to stay in the comp scene. He's incredibly entertaining. The trash talk for him is awesome. He's an amazing IGL controller player super fun to have around that g2 team is absolutely awesome i think it was just a disappointing loss i think after some off time uh, maybe he'll consider coming back a fun fact for you guys the g2 competitive team i think is the longest lasting full squad with no change-ups uh in all the all of na at least i know i don't know it could be in the whole world i'm not sure about uh, all the other regions but in na for sure they're the longest lasting those three have been together since the the since they started playing on console together so i think that's pretty cool my personal thought i think designful is not going to retire but definitely going to be taking some time off i know a lot of people out there think yeah he's definitely done and i know a lot of people out there that are like oh no he's coming back like next week you just wait so we'll have to see what he decides there but that is my personal guess the next thing we are well first of all reignite an australian team i think it's a japanese org but an australian group squad was signed to them they won the split too it was super hyped to watch them go through this uh big other orgs like optic tsm they were right behind them at least those big na orgs liquid as well but reignite were able to pull out the win this squad consisted of zero sharky jen burton was originally on the team but he got covid shortly before the land was going on so he couldn't go to the land uh, but JMW from Team Kingarn was able to fill in and then pull off the win for them. So that is super awesome. A little bit of underdogs. However, uh, the, the, this is a well-known squad. They're, they're, they're really good. People, people know them. They're popular in the comp scene. But still a little bit of underdogs compared to teams like Liquid, uh, the new Optic roster, TSM, uh, even G2, as we were previously talking about. Now, moving on to the ALGS Championship. I know some people are confused, like, wait, ALGS is done. No, that was just split two. There was split one. That was all online. That was won by Kingarna, which is uh, now 100 Thieves. But And now this was split two. 
now won by Reignite. And now we are moving on to the LGS Championships. This is going to be in Raleigh, North Carolina in the United States with live audience. So people can actually go to this one, which is actually pretty cool. Here are the 30 teams that have qualified uh, and 10 more can qualify, uh, a couple from each region basically. So G2 technically I think could still qual. I don't know if the, the event is the sign full going to play or if G2 going to pick a new person up. We'll have to see, but these are the people playing, and then again, this is running from July 7th to the 10th in Raleigh, North Carolina, United States. This is all for you guys in this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you later.